Hello, this is Cheryl Arias Wicker reporting for Sonoma Christian Home, and we are with John Schlitt, who has been in the business for a long, long time. <laughs> Forever. It's, since Jesus. No, not not quite that long, but uh, yeah, I've been around. Yeah, well, very good. It's, it's, it's an honor to meet you. Um, you know, most people know you from Petra, then going on to your solo career, and, um, you know, I consider you a legend in, in Christian music. <laughs> You know, I'm not sure if that word legend is so good. Well, you know, I, it's, it, it, I, I'm sensitive about the age thing. Most people would think legends like after you dad, but yeah, you know. uh, I'm still alive, honest. I'm still doing <laughs> records, but um, it, it's an honor. Thank you for yeah. for saying that. Um, I mean, you were one one of the first, one of the first uh, wave of Christian music. Uh, I was actually I came in at a very good time. Yeah. Uh, the guys with me. Uh, paid a lot more dues than I did and I got to sort of ride the crest now granted at that time it, it dropped immensely because they had a new singer but uh, but it was quickly recovered and we were a part of something that was amazing and still am as far as I'm concerned uh, Petra's ministry has been amazing uh, for the 20 years I was in it uh, it never let me down I, I it was so exciting to always watch what God was going to do with the strangest five bunch of people that you'd ever pick and uh, he did. He he uh, did some amazing things, and I was just blessed to be part of to see it, you know. And then it, then when we retired, um, I was quite a boat rocker for me because, you know, I that had been what I'd done for 20 years, and uh, sort of scratching your head, going, now what do I do, you know? And praise God, I had a couple of solo records by that time, and uh, I knew uh, as as the um, the retirement was coming, I knew that the, the next step was going to be a, a solo career. And But I, I didn't realize how much I'd miss Petra's ministry. And so it took me a while to uh, sort of reset myself and say, okay, God, how do you want to use me now? And finally, the grafting came out, which was my third solo uh, project. And uh, it was very, it was very appropriate for where I was at at the time, and I still love it. I still want to push it. Uh, it's all three and a half years old, and I don't think it's had any life yet at all. Uh, but now we talk about the new one, which is the greater cause, which has been a totally new experience for me, and I'm glad that we're able here to talk about it. Well, good. How would you say that your music is, has evolved um, as a solo artist? Um, I guess probably a little bit. Uh, as a solo artist, you're responsible for everything. And um, has it changed from Petra? Uh, hopefully not too much, because I think Petra was a, a ridiculous winning formula. Uh, I hope I learned a lot from there. Um, uh, my writing style is different from Bob's, uh, but um, my singing style hasn't changed. Um, uh, so what you heard in Petra has a lot to do with my delivery, and I think the delivery is, uh, is hasn't changed a bit. If nothing else, it's gotten a little more intense, and I think that's important. I think we live in intense times, so uh, you know I'm, I'm singing in a style that I think is needed for today, as I did with every Petra record. I think uh, I tried to be very real and very intense and deliver exactly what I was supposed to deliver for each song, each topic. That hasn't changed with this new thing. Now, what has changed is I've got 500 partners, uh, which was a totally new experience for me, uh, with uh, something called Kickstarter. Uh, it was uh, uh, it was a beautiful way to finance a record uh, because now, uh, as I said before, I have five, a little over 500 partners that believe in the CD and were praise God were happy with the results, but they had to trust me in the beginning. Now, is this your own label that you're um, yes. doing this on? Yes, it's called uh, uh, 4K Records, and uh, um, and right now, actually, as we're speaking, there's a meeting going on about distribution, so uh, I don't know who's going to be involved with that yet, but that's like the final straw. That's the final thing. Uh, I want some major distribution. I think the record needs it, uh, so as soon as I find out who's going to do that, I've, I've got... Uh, you know, uh, assistants that are that have been amazing. I call them my team, and I've been blessed with amazing teammates. And so they're working on that right now. And uh, as soon as that gets finalized, then the uh, CD will be pressed, and the uh, amazing artwork that another quote volunteer did for me, um, uh, it'll come out, and people are going to go, "Wow, this is a pretty cool record." Uh, I, I think I, I've seen many, many CDs through my secular and, and Christian days, and I think this is one of the best I've ever seen. Wow, 
That's great. Well, um, I. I work in the film industry, and I and I know a lot of films are using Kickstarter to fund their Absolutely. films. So um, yes. it's kind of neat that you know it's being used by all genres to be able to produce projects that need to, need to get out there, yeah. and and having people that believe in you that help you make it happen. So that's that's pretty oh, neat. It's it's truly a wonderful thing. That when I realized just how this was working. Uh, all I could think of is what a great talking point. I, you know, thinking sellable, sellability here, but really the talking point is, is the fact that they trusted me, they trusted my past, which was a, a major compliment because I said I wanted to do a Christian rock album. And there were a lot of people that wanted to hear a rock album, uh, at least what they considered, you know, there's many different forms of rock, but. I've had a dec three or four decades to choose from, which, you know, there's been different styles of rock in all those, and I was part of really, a, sort of part of it, the, that whole 40 years. And it's culminated into something I think is very cool, especially with the new sounds that uh, absolutely were used because I'm using very current people. Uh, but they totally related to my style because you know, retro's in now, and I'm, I'm the perfect example of retro. I, you know, I am retro. So uh, they were very excited about being part of it, and it just culminated in something very, very cool. Yeah, well, it's great to kind of like come back into style again. Huh? Yeah. Hey, here's a secret. Just be around forever, and you will be cool sooner or later. Trust me. That's great. Oh, I think you've always been cool. So. Uh, see, and that's why I'm here interviewing with her. Yes. All right. Well, very good. Well, um, so tell me, you know, what what are you planning down the road? Do you have some other um, big things in the works? It's funny you ask. Um, ah, I know you do. <laughs> actually, uh, there's like three major things right now for me. I want to do a, a, a band tour, uh, which I haven't done in years uh, because of grafting, for instance. It was really more, it was almost a track type of music it was more intimate i could be in front of a lot smaller crowds uh in smaller churches which seemed to be where i was going at the time unless i'm here in this country and in, in everywhere else it's it's bigger but but um this album is absolutely a record it, it, it's a, a band album and uh i'm excited about the fact of actually being in a band again uh, it was very easy to be do track dates by yourself just go out on your own not have to deal with attitudes not have to deal with different uh, moods and stuff and uh, selfishly I was out there you know having it pretty easy but this one I want to I want to deal with uh, I, I want to present it in a bigger way so that's my goal at this moment uh, getting it pressed getting the CDs to my partners first and then to the rest of the world uh, that's a major thing and then then I know the sounds I haven't even finished my record yet it's not even out yet and I'm always I'm already talking about a Christmas album I want to do a Christmas album I probably am going to do it through Kickstarter again and I would also like to do video for this CD um, to where it can be used on stage where it can be uh, something in the back uh, showing the you can see what you hear with your with your ears you're also seeing with your eyes and I think that combination especially let's face it in today's uh, market um, the populace they hear with their eyes I mean it, it's um, video is a very important tool and I would love to be able to do uh, videos for each one of these songs to present them in a, in a in a more clear way. Those are those are that's a wish list. But you ask, and I'm telling you. Oh, right now. that's right, that's <laughs> right. Well, you always have to have those goals out front, and I think creative people are the ones that are best known for having lots of ideas. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's you're trying to present a message that that's changed your life, and you feel that uh, what God's put in your heart for these 11, I've actually this new CD has 11 songs on it. One's a bonus cut that, that has its own history. But um, every one of the songs are important messages to me and I'd like to get them out and make them as clear as possible to where there's no doubts, you know. Uh, the music stands on its own, but still music's music and you have certain ways that you, you take uh, 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 artistic endeavors. You, you take little freedoms here and there and and the doubting Thomas going, what do you mean by that? Uh, I don't think that's Christian. I don't, I, it doesn't say Jesus 14 times. I, it can't be Christian. So you have to, you take that, that artistic uh, uh, license, 
but you but I also want to make it very clear what the message is about and a lot of times I think the music is is pretty definite but you don't want to take any chances so if I had the chance of doing video with it I think it would be a double whammy so I'm, I'm excited about it. If it happens, great. If not, it's just something God's put on my heart, and, and, and it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I just got a chance to meet your wife. She accompanied you on your interviews today. So does your wife get to travel with you a lot on things that no, you do? I, I want her to, but the truth is she doesn't necessarily want to go to India and <laughs> and ride on the roads I get to ride on. And, well, you're uh, in your hometown today. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, not, not much travel now, so she's glad with that. Yeah. And it's fun to have her. It's yeah. fun to have her because, uh, well, there's one song uh, on this new album which was dedicated to her. It's called The Gift Dorla Song. And uh, it's honoring the fact that we've been married 40 years. Mm -hmm. And it was a perfect chance for me to actually be a little self-gratifying and use one of the songs on the CD to say, babe, you are something, and this is what I think about you. And hopefully it can be uh, other, other husbands and wives can relate to it also and use it for themselves. But that wasn't my goal. My goal was to say, this is what I think about you, babe. And so uh, I stand here as a wit saying, yes, it was to my wife, all right? <laughs> if you can use it, great. If not, I don't care. That's it right. was to my wife. It meant something to the two of you. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm sure it will. we'll all be blessed. But, um, you know, our, our audience likes to get to know the person behind the art. So um, if you wouldn't mind telling me, what else do you like to do besides music? Do you have any hobbies? Oh, yeah. I, I'm a woodworker. I love working on furniture. Uh, I, I love not just furniture, just anything that uh, I've done everything from create new stuff like Amwa's uh, build-in uh, uh, bookshelves and cabinets and that kind of stuff to uh, taking old antiques that people have found in, the, in, in barns that everyone else would say this is junk. Totally take them apart, redo them, put them back together. And in that case, you lose the value of an antique, but you have a new piece of furniture. Then there's others that want that antique look where you just sort of try to fix it, but not fix it. And that's the hardest. That's hard for me because that means you have to leave some of the, some of the cracks and crevices and stuff in it because that's cool to some people. I can't stand it, but it's cool to them. Uh, that's probably the hardest work I do. But that, that's, that's what I do when I'm, I'm home. I, I work on, on uh, projects like that. I, I'm building a deck for my, my son's uh, uh, dealership, which is a very odd. He actually has a dealership and a warehouse, and we're taking, and the doors to the warehouse now have become uh, uh, windows, uh, showcase windows and stuff. But when the, the day is over, you bring the doors down, it becomes a warehouse again. And so it's, uh, it's been very unique, sort of a... a, a uh, a, a different way of doing things and that I don't think anyone else would do but because it's my son and and I'm sort of that guy kind of guy who likes to do weird things uh, it turned out to be very cool <laughs> so how many uh, how many children do you have I, I guess there are four kids uh, my oldest and my daughter and then three sons and then I've got six grandkids which is a thrill because I get to spoil them rotten and send them <laughs> home yeah it does happen that yeah. way it's really cool but uh, it, it's fun. It, it, it's a, a, a new um, way of living. Actually, the grafting was talking about the, the song, the grafting, which was titled of my CD before this, was about my grandkids. Because up to that time, I had five grandkids, and they all had one thing in common. They came from single mothers, uh, either through adoption or through my son's marrying a mother who had the courage to keep her children or her child. And they became my, my grandkids. And... Uh, uh, since then, I have a new one that uh, sort of came the regular way, but um, my grandkids are, are very important to me. Right. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us, and we just really enjoyed getting to know you and, and hearing all about your Nevis music. So if people want to um, go to your website and mm -hmm. check out some stuff, where do they go? JohnWSchlitt.com. And uh, please do. I think you, uh, if you like exciting Christian music uh, that... Uh, I think you'll enjoy this very much, uh, especially if you like rock, old and new. I think it's a combination of both. Uh, and uh, uh, it's really a it's been a blessing from the time it was financed to the time it was finished. Uh, God has really had his hand on it. And uh, uh, But I leave that up to you to dis determine whether you like it or not. I think you'll, if you like exciting music, you're going to love this one. 
Yeah, I'm sure you'll like it. This is Cheryl Wicker for Sonoma Christian Home.